This is Craig with Active Sales, and today we're going to demonstrate how to join a corner on the Cassis CS20 underpinner. First, I'll turn on the air. You want to have about 90 pounds pressure to properly run the machine, and you almost never have to adjust that. Next, we determine the fastener positions. On this molding, I've already drawn in our innermost and outermost position. Once we've, once we've determined the innermost and outermost positions, we select our nail size. Cassis nails come in color-coded cartridges from 7 millimeters to 15 millimeters. And the cartridges make it easy to change fastener sizes because there's no adjustment to the machine for different fastener sizes. In this case, I'm going to try the half-inch dark blue fasteners. You can see the half-inch fasteners just about right for this size of frame. Next, I'll load the fasteners into the machine. To do that, I slide the table forward, turn the handle in the direction of the arrow that's on the table, set the cartridge in place, and gently release the handle. Next, we'll adjust for the molding width. To adjust the molding width, you slide a piece of molding in on this side and turn the pre-clamp lever on. More about the pre-clamp in just a second. With the pre-clamp lever on, you slide the front clamps until they're touching the molding and tighten the front clamp down. However, now my molding is being held by the front clamp against the fences, so I'm stuck. So all you do is release the pre-clamp lever and that gives you room to move the molding, slide the molding freely. Next, we'll set our innermost and outermost fastener positions. The nails come out right at the point of this, I don't know if you can see it, right here. So I'm going to line up that point with the lines I've already drawn on my molding. Slide the molding into place. Move it right to my innermost position. Take the collar, move it up against the stop and tighten it down. Move to my outermost position. Line it up. Take that collar against the stop, tighten it down. So now you set both your innermost and outermost position. Next we'll adjust the top clamp. For the top clamp, I'll use the chevron shaped with a rubber pad that comes with the machine. It's magnetic and it just slides onto the post like that. You want to adjust it to within about an inch of the, of the highest point of the molding. So that gives me, it's a little less than an inch, but that's good enough. Once you've adjusted the top clamp, you can insert the nails. In order to do this, you just move your molding against one of your stops. When you step halfway down on the pedal, the clamps will engage, holding the molding tightly in place so there's no movement during the nailing process. And then just step the rest of the way through the pedal, holding it down to drive the first nail. Without letting up all the way in the pedal, move to the back position and just step down again on the pedal. Drive your second nail. And then you can, if you want to, you can put nails in the intermediate positions as well. I'll put two more. There we go. Once it releases, you've now joined your, your corner. We put nails in four positions. The Cassis CS20 has adjustable fences that are adjustable in two ways. First, I'll show you how the back fences can adjust to match the profile of the back of the molding you're, you're joining. To do this, I loosen this, put this out of adjustment, show you how it adjusts. Just bring your molding against the loosened fence, squeeze it together, and the fence will adjust to match the back of your molding. Do the same thing for both sides. Tighten it down. Now your molding is as fully supported as it can be. Also, if the, if the angle of your cut isn't perfect, this fence will adjust this way and that way simply by using this small little nut here, this little stop nut. That way you can adjust to match the angle of your cut and the angle of the back of your molding. 
The CS20 features Cassis's patented ultra clamping system, which actually pushes the two pieces of molding together and holds them tightly during the nailing cycle. To demonstrate this, I'll take the second piece of molding and, and leave an extreme gap of a quarter inch or so between these two pieces of molding. And when I step on that pedal halfway down to clamp it, these two pieces of molding should be pulled tightly together. There you go. You see how that put them tightly together. Now there's about 200 pounds of holding force holding these together during the nailing cycle so there's no movement of the molding giving you the tightest corner possible. That's a patented feature from Cassis only. These accessories are included with the CS20 cart. A spare driver blade, a spacer bar which is used for short moldings, the magnetic holder and the chevron hold down with the rubber pad, a spare rubber pad for the hold down, wrenches, operator's manual, three boxes of V-nails, seven, ten, and ten hardwood, and a tube of molly coat grease. Optional accessories for the CS20 include the extension arms, the accessory tray, the round rubber holder, which fits magnetic and fits on a post like that, and the green round hold down for hardwoods, and the yellow round hold down for softwoods. Those are the optional accessories for the CS20.